Welcome to First National Bank's Coach's Corner with Tony Tone and Muscatine High School football coach Jake Mueller. Listen online at Vintage931.com or on your smartphone with the free Vintage Sound app. Let's start the show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 9.33 at Vintage Sound, Thursday morning, the 8th of October. It's homecoming week at Muscatine High School, and he must have done it on purpose because he knows I'm a Cubs fan. I understand that it is wear your favorite uh, team shirt day, but Muskie head football coach Jake Mueller, who I thought was my friend, is wearing a Cardinals shirt. You're I am. A, you're a Cardinals baseball fan. I am. I have been my whole life. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess I can't hold that against you. It's really just jealousy as a Cubs fan. Yeah, I, I would suppose so. Uh, now, I would have assumed wear your favorite team, you'd have a musky shirt on. Yeah, I have that on yesterday. I'm going to okay. have one on tomorrow. Like, I wear it <laughs> all the time, so I figured, you know, we'll change it up just a little bit. Yeah, take a little break. Yeah. You probably just got, like, a closet that's, like, half purple, right? Yeah, yeah. probably more than half. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, we just bought a musky shirt for my three-year-old the yeah. other day, because uh, at preschool tomorrow, it's where... Yeah. musky gear or whatever yeah. so it's yeah. like he has to have one sure he can't be the one kid without musky gear no. and his dad's on the radio That's right? right yeah holy smokes um well uh, i want to go back to last friday listening to the game against burlington yeah first of all congrats on the win thank you uh their offense sounded very complicated yeah it was to defend it's, yeah it, it it was unique you know we, like i mentioned last week we we don't pl- we've never played a team that runs a single wing right so they lo- do a lot of different things that we weren't We've never seen so uh, you know I was really pleased with how our kids responded and just played uh, you know paid attention to their assignments all week and, and executed it. Well, uh, you go to Burlington and uh, relatively short drive, and then you show up and how nice is the stadium? It's by awesome. The way? It's phenomenal. It? Yeah, it's a really cool place. Uh, LED lights, new field wow. turf, uh, redid the press box. Just places is just really really nice. So it's it was it was a lot of fun to go down there and play down there, and our kids enjoyed it. Some things you took away that were positive that you saw your boys uh, do last Friday as you head into homecoming tomorrow. I thought we had, we had a nice night on special teams. Uh, we mm-hmm. uh, had a field goals of forty five and forty nine yards. We executed an onside kick. Kick, uh, you know, did some good things in the punt game. Kick, uh, put some balls in the end zone on kickoff. So special teams, I thought what was uh, you know was a positive. And then I thought. You, you know, our our first unit on defense did a, did a great job shutting down everything that Burlington tried to do. Sure. Uh, so that was definitely a positive. And, uh, you know, we had some different kids step up and have have big games. Uh, uh, you know, Kevin Johnson had his probably his best game of the year last mm-hmm. week, almost having 100 yards r- rushing. Uh, so it was nice to see him step up. You know, Alfonso is kind of taking the lead as far as, uh, you know, been our leading rusher for the season. Mm-hmm. Kevin was our leading rusher last year. So, uh, you know, it was nice to see him to kind of get back in there and, and do a great job. Your defense seems like they're just playing tough, and I mean, each week you're you know you're practicing hard, you're showing up, and it was a fun game to listen to. I uh, imagine that every and, and it seemed like we traveled well to Burlington. Yeah, there was a lot right? of yeah, there was yeah. a lot of Muskie fans down there, so that was that's great. Uh, you know, yeah, that's rewarding. You know, to see uh, the people come down and support our our kids, and our kids know that stuff too. So that's uh, you know that's fun. So Friday happens, you take the win from Burlington, 1-1 one one for the Muskies in district play, and that's important because uh, you know the record and how the rest of the season goes, well, that, that's going to shape whether or not the playoffs happen, right? Yeah, I mean, as of right now, mm-hmm. it's, it's, we're, we're tied for third or fourth in our district, okay. even though our season you know, feels like we're right. having a great year. Right. Now we're, we're, we're not um, City High's 2-0 and, and, and Wash is 2-0, and so we're – you know, we got to take it one game at a time and focus on our district and, you know, not really be concerned with how everything else has happened this year. Yeah. Oh, it's so true. Uh, we're going to take a super quick break and get fired up for tomorrow night. Homecoming with the Tumwa coming to town. Uh, we'll talk about their record, see how they're doing, and we're also going to chat with our buddy uh, Scott Ingstead, president of First National Bank, since it is, of course, First National Bank Coach's Corner. So hang tight. Don't touch that radio because we're coming right back. First National Bank is proud to sponsor the On the Money program at Muscatine High School. When the volleyball, swim, basketball, and baseball teams score big, they earn money for the Muskie Boosters. Since 1997, their hard work has earned over 55000 in donations from First National Bank. We are also proud to sponsor the Muskie Football Red Zone. Can't make it to the game? Don't miss a minute of the excitement. Tune in to AM860 or FM95.1 to hear the game's broadcast live. Go Muskies! Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. 
You're listening to First National Bank's Coach's Corner on Vintage Sound 93.1. Just like that, 937 on Thursday, homecoming week at Muscatine. Here we go. Muskies host Ottumwa tomorrow night. Coach, you don't have to make the trip to Ottumwa. How excited are you? I'm very excited, yeah. <laughs> if we could avoid that, we want to do that. So, yeah. It's so nice. And listen, Ottumwa might not even be in the district next year. That's right, yeah. Because yeah. after that, because it's, it's two years and then they redo the district. Uh-huh. So, we have no idea. No idea. You could be traveling, well, not further than Ottumwa, right? I wouldn't think, but you never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we added a team in Nebraska. It doesn't make yeah. sense, but yeah. uh, here we go. So Ottumwa comes in. They are, uh, what are they, 3-3 three and three overall, 0-2 mm-hmm. in the district. Yep. But that 0-2 came at the hands of Syrups, Washington, and City High. So both of those teams are 2-0 and in the district. So, you know, they've, they've played, you know, two of the better teams in our district yeah. right away. Um, so, you, you know, being 0-2... We know who they played and what they've done. They're they're a tough team. Uh, they've got some big kids on the offense and defensive line, and they're a hard nosed, just a physical, scrappy team. Sure. You know, they're not going to uh, be the most athletic team that we've played probably. But mm-hmm. as far as just a, a big, strong, tough kids coming at you, uh, you know, they're they're going to be right there um, coming. You know, coming here to to play a, a tough physical game. Yeah, and, and especially losing to two of those extremely talented teams. Yeah, absolutely. That's gonna you know that only. I mean, listen, a, a loss is tough, but a loss against two great teams mm-hmm. will probably make you better a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you take yeah. things away and work mm-hmm. on things, and um, so this is going to be a challenge. I mean, this is a tough homecoming game. Right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, it's it's not easy by by any means. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we went down there last year, and they gave us everything we could handle. Uh, it was a really tough game. Uh, they got some kids back from last year. They got a defensive end that is uh, – he was third-team All-State last year. Wow. Their leading tackler at linebacker is back, uh, but they have him playing quarterback. All right, and then they're leading – Interesting. Yeah, yeah. He 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 looks like a linebacker. <laughs> uh, he wears number 34. Uh, so he, he, awesome. he doesn't look like your typical quarterback. And then uh, – they got their their running back has started for him um, since the, since he was a sophomore. So okay. you know he he's back with a lot of experience, a talented player as well. So um, and then I think they've got two or three kids that started um, on the offensive line that are back. And so there's you know they they got a good team. Uh, we yeah, we, we can't uh, you know take this team lightly. It's a team that we uh, have to play hard and play well and execute. And so we're looking forward to it though. With all of that and then the excitement of homecoming, um, we're going to come out. My wife and kids and I are going to be there. Uh, Scott Ingstead, First National Bank, you guys love going to the games, I know, right? I mean, Tony, I've been going to homecoming games at Muscatine longer than the coach is old. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun, though, right? I mean, it's uh, the atmosphere is electric. And, and now I personally haven't, here I sit saying that, and I haven't been to a, a MHS homecoming football game. Tomorrow will be my first. So what do I need to know, Scott? Help me out. What do I, you know? Well, first of all, you see the color of my tie. I did. That you is. Know, a, you you want to have your purple on. I got to wear a purple tie purple. tomorrow night? Well, maybe not the tie. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you insist, um, but yeah, you got to wear purple, right? You got to cheer loud, and okay. you, you, you're already equipped with the voice for that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and and then try not to get in trouble with the uh, the law enforcement people that are there. <laughs> oh man, uh, yeah, it, it's such a fun week, and uh, but again, coach, you have to stay focused, right? Yeah, so, yeah. have the practices have they uh, has it been turned up a little, or is it you still maintaining the same level of focus that you guys have had throughout the course of the season? We try not to change things up too much in okay. practice but you you know i guess it's my job to constantly remind our guys to be focused you know yeah. you're dealing with 16 17 year old kids that have a lot going on from you, you know trying to find homecoming outfits and uh figuring out you know when they need to leave and sort of go to the parade and right you know what their outfit is going to be for the next theme day yeah. uh who their date's going to be you <laughs> know buying corsages right. uh getting a float ready just a lot of stuff, yeah. You, you know, a ton on, of stuff. On top of that, you know, they're, they're still still going to school, still got stuff to do, and, right? Uh, and, and so, it's our job to try and keep them focused and make sure that we're still going to perform at a high level. And I tell them it's a lot more enjoyable in the week if we go and take care of business on Friday night. Exactly. Yeah. Won't it be a, a much more enjoyable dance on Saturday <laughs> after a win? Um, and and it is interesting, you know. You say that, coach, about everything that goes on, and you're going to be a parent ver- really soon. Uh, we don't, maybe today. I don't know. It could be. Right. I don't know when. <laughs> soon. Uh, so, but yeah, for me, with the three year old and the ten month old, and Scott, you have kids. I mean, 
they, I don't, you know, sometimes we people take a knock or a shot at teenagers like they got it easy. But uh, if you're involved, there's a lot going on, isn't there? I mean, your kids are probably super involved too, right? You got to manage all this. My kids are a little bit older, but I yeah. am taking my granddaughter tomorrow. If that That's makes you awesome. feel better, yeah, <laughs> no, it totally does. But I mean, it, it's true, you know, from the homework to the the practices, and then you know, like you said, all the little things that go along with homecoming. You know, especially if it's your senior year, right, guys? We were all there. Um, and then you get there, and, and and it's over in the blink of an eye. That's what they don't tell you, right? Mm-hmm. You don't want to tell these kids that. We don't want to discourage them, but it goes by super fast. Um, and, and obviously, First National Bank has supported uh, Musky Boosters and Athletics for a long time. I know you love the cake auction, which they already set a date, by the way, in January. And that's another event that I haven't been to personally. I've listened to it on the radio. I feel like I need to sit next to you, Scott. Right, right. Yeah? I mean. Until, until the Krieger boys start bidding, then you can <laughs> go somewhere else. Because I'm you, out of it by then. Have, uh-huh. you, have you thought at all about a cake yet, or is it way too early? I have a lot smarter people to bank to worry about that. <laughs> okay, all right. You got a whole like uh, cake auction department, basically. Exactly. <laughs> all right, that's good. Um, so uh, Coach said something that's crazy uh, before we even started. So next week you go and you take on Prairie. Yeah. Then the last game of the season, of the regular season, is Friday, October 23rd. It's also senior night, mm-hmm. and you're hosting City High. Yep. Wow. Yeah. And then, correct me if I'm wrong, so, Coach, say you get a W tonight, you go to 2-1, and one, you get a W next week, you go to 3-1, and one, maybe you end 4-1 and one in the district. You still won't know what your fate is until, what, like midnight after the last game? Yeah, we wouldn't know. If we finish out 4-1... and one, You probably have a good idea. We, well, we know... We would be a two seed, which would give us the home playoff game. Okay. So we would play a three seed from a different district. Gotcha. If we don't finish four and one, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that city high game is going to be huge. Huge, Uh, yeah. You know, it could it could potentially come down to us and them for that second spot. And Mm -hmm. so, you know, if we finish third, then there's a lot more, um, you know, unclear as far as we're going to be traveling somewhere we don't know where. Gotcha. Uh, so the, the trying to get that number two spot uh, is huge. You know, I'm just going to assume that Washington's going to win out. Uh, you know, most likely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and and be the one seed. Uh, so you know, we're hoping to try and win out and, and finish in the two spot and host a home playoff game. That would be a lot of fun for uh, our our community, our kids. Uh, but we wouldn't know who we would play until around midnight of that night. Okay. And then that game again, not to look too far ahead, but that would be on October 28th. Is that, that Wednesday, right? That Wednesday. That Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, again, the week of Halloween. So, one step at a time, yeah. Ottumwa tomorrow for homecoming, then at Prairie, and then a, a very tough, cheese Louise, City High, mm-hmm. Senior Night, last round. Oh, man. That's going to be a challenge. Again, that's that's a few weeks out, but yeah. it's totally on your radar, I can tell. Oh, yeah. Just knowing you. You got to forecast a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, again, we're focusing on tomorrow and next week, but uh, that's going to be huge. Mm-hmm. Holy cow. It's a fun time of year, isn't it? <laughs> if you sure like football. Is. And uh, so uh, before I get to the, the college football thing, uh, Cash with First National Bank is going to be hanging out at homecoming at the game tomorrow with these really cool uh, red and blue sunglasses. That's correct. And That's you right. brought me a pair. Yes, we thought you might need them. It's awful bright. <laughs> I, know, I was going to say. <laughs> well, Scott, my future is so bright, I have to wear my shades <laughs> at night. Time. Isn't that the same? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Tony, well, if I, I could, that. I want to encourage people to come out and watch the coach's team tomorrow. I've seen them uh, several games, and the fun part is I think it's as fast a team as, as I've ever seen in Muscatina. I said it's fun to watch the other guys chase us down like right. in past years <laughs> we've had to chase the other guys. <laughs> I mean, we've got some fast guys mm-hmm. and, a, and a great a great group of kids, and they sure deserve our support. There, you Thank got, you. you got some great scholars on this team. I mean, it's uh, personality, mm-hmm. the kids that I've met. Yeah, it's it's a great time to be a Muskie and, and a fan or a supporter. So you're absolutely right. And then, uh, Coach, as, as the weekend rolls around, um, I don't know how you keep up with all these kids that are playing college football because you have like 11 mm-hmm. that have come through the Muskie program. Yeah. You know, Drake Kulik comes to mind at Iowa, but mm-hmm. there's there's 10 other guys out there that, yeah. you've, that you've helped get into the college football arena, which is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fun to, to kind of pay attention and, and, and follow their careers a little bit. Uh, you know, Isaac Allison and Griffin Gator are both at Northern Iowa. Yep. Uh, Isaac uh, was a preseason All-American, I believe, he was a captain at UNI. Wow. Um, he's up for a, a national award as well, so he's having a, a great career. He had three sacks Saturday, his, yeah. dad, his dad told me. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. I watched the wow. game on uh, online on ESPN3, so he's had a, you know, just a tremendous career there. Uh, he's one of the all-time um, 
uh, tackles for loss guys on, on, in UNI history. And they, Jeez. And Griffin Gate is actually his backup, and Griffin plays on quite a bit of special teams <laughs> for awesome. him. Uh, yeah, so I talked to, uh, you know, last night actually uh, I got a call from uh, or a text message from Tyler Brooks, who um, is alone. He's down at North Carolina Central, mm-hmm. his first year down there. Uh, we've got uh, three kids at Iowa Central Community College, uh, Devonte Ellis, Yinye Soko, and Edward Sanders, and then that's uh, a great group to have at one school. Yeah, by absolutely. The way. Yeah, holy absolutely. cow! I didn't know that. That's sure. awesome. Keep going. And then uh, hopefully I get them all here. Uh, Reed Mathis is at Wartburg. Uh, Spencer Beatty and Matt Wieskamp are both in the first year over at Western Illinois. Uh, Jake Schultz is mm-hmm. at Grandview, um, cool. so he's he's a starting linebacker at Grandview. Wow. Uh, and then Drake Kulik, like you mentioned, is at Iowa. Uh, hopefully I'm not missing anybody. I think that's about it, though. I'm disappointed to not hear St. Ambrose as an alumni. Yeah, we got to you know, change that. Um, Let's start stealing these muskies. I know it's close for these kids, but you know that's just yeah. me being selfish. <laughs> so I would love to see it. Yeah, well, hopefully, maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe this year we'll, we'll we'll send some kids there. It's it's super, it's just a great time of year, you know. Uh, and and a lot like uh, the other sporting, you know, the sport teams and the activities that are year round. And your season is so much shorter than you realize. Mm-hmm. I mean, here we sit with three games left, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. then hopefully some playoff action. And then, uh, yeah, it, it, it's wild. You know, I was explaining it to a friend of mine how fast it goes, and they just couldn't believe it. But I, I do definitely want to encourage everybody to come out. We have two more opportunities to watch the Muskies uh, at home tomorrow for homecoming against Ottumwa, and then on the twenty third senior night for uh, City High, which is going to be a shootout. That's going to be a big game. I'm excited for you, Coach. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Now, do you have to chaperone the dance at all on Saturday? No. Uh, Good. My wife is doing that. Uh, okay. She just kind of does some home or uh, student council. So, yeah. uh, you, you know, I feel like I put in my time this week. <laughs> 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 so I'm gonna yeah yeah. I'm gonna skip hey, this. honey, nine and a half months pregnant yeah. or whatever. Go yeah, do the dance. That, yeah. I do feel a little bit bad about that. <laughs> um, but uh, oh, it's okay. Trust me, that's yeah. fine. You you get up at three a.m., change that diaper. Oh, yeah. this all goes away, right, yeah. Scott? You've been there. You know how it is. <laughs> Long time ago. <laughs> I know. Oh man, let me tell you, it's a lot of fun. Scott, thanks for coming in, buddy. I appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having me. It's always good to see you. First National Bank Coaches Corner, Muskie Head Football Coach Jake Mueller. It's homecoming tomorrow night here in Muscatine, and hopefully, guys, listen. Now we look out the window right now. I want you to both look. And it doesn't look like it's going to rain. We got rained out with this parade last year. I was devastated. I love driving the golf cart down the middle of Mulberry. I don't want to get rain. So do a rain dance, will you? Hopefully. Have you been watching the weather? I mean, tomorrow you're fine. Don't worry. The game is beautiful. It's going to be That's all I can (laughs) about. (laughs) Wait, you haven't checked the parade forecast? Uh, No, I'm sorry. Scott, you got a meteorologist at the bank over there? I was listening to Millie over in the other studio. Right. I guess we're kind of uh, on the cusp. Oh, man. I just want to drive the golf cart. (laughs) All right. Listen, we're going to have a good time. Uh, Homecoming parade. We'll keep you updated if that's going to go on. But we know for sure Muskie football tomorrow against the Tumwa. And we want you to be there. If you can't make it, you can listen to Muskie football on our sister station, KWPC AM 860 FM 95.1, the voice of Muscatine.